this video we're going to use Cisco Packet Tracer to view uh, traffic between a client and a web server. So here's your little PC sitting at home or at work or wherever you're at and here's a server that you're requesting some sort of information or services from. We're just going to check how that traffic flows uh, from where you are through your little network across all the internet networks and back. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is check the connectivity we have. So here's the website of our server, ciscolearn.web.com. So if we have access to our computer here and we get to the command prompt, we can just ping it. And we don't let's say we don't know the you know the IP address, which most people don't know the IP address of what the website they're going. You can just type it in. And DNS you can see will give you the the uh, website that or the IP address of the website. And you can see here we sent four and got three, but if we reping, uh, we'll get them all. There you can see we've already got the first one, which we missed last time. So we're 100% on that. So let's go to our web browser and type in the website. This is just like if you were using Internet Explorer or Chrome or Firefox or whatever you were doing. And here's our little website. And if we want to, let's say we want to view the HTML code on this. Like here, it's talking about HTML coding and stuff. Uh, we can go out here, go to our server, uh, configure HTTP. And here's the here's the HTML code. Here's our opening HTML tag. You know, closing HTML tag. Let's find something. Here's a header. Header two learn about web client and server interaction. So if we go back to our there's our header, learn about web client and server interaction. So we have good connectivity here. Uh, our external client has no problem uh, talking to the server we are looking for. So now let's observe some of the traffic between the client and the web server. So if you're using Cisco Packet Tracer we're going to use the simulation tab and the edit your filters to use HTTP and TCP and then uh, we need to send, send our information our client is going to be our source uh, we're not gonna ping we want HTTP then our destination address we click our server here uh, change our starting port change this hit create PDU so now here's our uh, little packet uh, ready to go across uh, so if we hit play right here it'll take off so all this is doing is if this was my real-life network and this was me sitting at my desk this would go from here to a switch to a router out onto the internet through however many hops how many routers it takes for me to get to the server I'm requesting information from and on this one on their end they also they have a switch here and it gets directed through the right ports to the server that I'm looking for and then it sends the information back now if you look at the event list here it's gonna get quite big and the reason for that is uh, HTTP is a TCP protocol which requires uh, not only established connection but you also have to have acknowledgement of the packets were received. So if you send a packet across here and send a, this will send information back saying yes I received packet one and then you know packet two is on its way it hits it sends the information back yes I received packet two. So like half of half of what you're seeing here is just a verification of yes this is how much you've sent these are these this is what I've received from you so if you sent 30 packets and it only received 28 it will send back to you I've only received 28 packets so that's why this is getting so long it's because of uh, it's using TCP so this will just continue until it stops all the packets have been received and uh, acknowledgement there you can see it stop you could go through the list and check everything uh, but this is just a list of yes 
you sent me this packet and then sending the information back yes I received this packet from you you sent me packet 2 I received packet 2 so this has just been a short video of how uh, traffic between a client you know your basic PC and a web server when you request services from a web server that's how the traffic flows back and forth